So last night, the Kansas City Chiefs picked up a 30-29 win over the Las Vegas Raiders. And although at times it wasn't pretty, great teams are able to prevail no matter what the circumstances. Whether that be down 17-0 or however much you have to come back. The first quarter, mid-second quarter, the Chiefs could not get anything going. The offensive line got off to a bad start. And then Patrick Mahomes, who's one of the best leaders in football, came out there and challenged the whole line and said, if we're going to win this game, it's going to be because of you guys. He, of course, challenged Travis Kelsey, who got four touchdowns. I mean, Patty Mahomes went out there and just was leading methodical drives left and right. The defense was able to get the stops it needed to. I understand that it got dominated on the ground and that Devontae Adams, who only had three catches at Renfro. I don't even think Renfro. Did Renfro how many catches did Renfro have? Hunter Renfro had, had – okay, so he did have four catches. I honestly forgot that he did because he was just – he was not involved. He wasn't there. Darren Waller left early due to an injury. He's dealt with injuries the past several seasons. I mean, I know he's, I'm not going to say he's better than Mark Andrews, but he has, I believe he's second in receptions since, what, 2018, 2019, behind, obviously, Travis Kelsey. So, and Waller's an elite tight end, but the Chiefs, they've owned the Raiders. They've owned this entire AFC West division is the point here, 23-3. and three. And I know that they've put up, 40 points like it's nothing against these Raiders last night they did not put up 40 they put up 30 which is still incredible the fact that they were getting shut down for almost a, you know, almost entire half I mean the Chiefs they started off the first quarter with zero points and then they did end up getting of course a touchdown to Kelsey and then they kicked a field goal in the second quarter and then after that they put up 14 in the third quarter and then they put up uh, oh, that's it. That, that touchdown to Kelsey, they went for two and didn't get it. But honestly, the Chiefs have impressed me. It was one of those games where you just, you've got to win it no matter the cost. You got up to a slow start. You're getting destroyed. The, the Raiders went for it on fourth and one and they hit Devontae Adams on a 50 plus yard touchdown. But the reason why the Chiefs have been so great is because they never truly are out of a game. I mean, normally they're putting up points in a hurry. And we kind of saw that, I guess, in those, what, they went three straight drives with a touchdown. They were automatic on fourth down. Literally in this, oh my God, the Chiefs were automatic on third down. I mean, it was just ridiculous the, what they were putting up. But there are some things that we do need to talk about. And I'm going to be brief with this because I made a whole video on this. But it's Odell Beckham Jr. So I was just reading the news before I made this video. And according to Jeremy Fowler and Matt Bowen, of ESPN, the Kansas City Chiefs are in the market for a wideout and would welcome one more outside threat. I made a video three, four days ago, whatever, saying that the Kansas City Chiefs absolutely need another weapon. They need another playmaker. And I'm not saying that if the Chiefs do not bring in an outside threat or Odell, that they will not win the Super Bowl. That's completely ridiculous. The Chiefs can win with this team. But I also am looking at how hard it is to win a Super Bowl. I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs have, what, two Super Bowls? Patrick Mahomes has one. He's I mean, Patty's only 27, but, and I know people don't like when I call him Patty, but I'm going to continue to call him Patty. I don't know why I like that name, but Patty, 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 Patty. Patty has one Super Bowl. He's going to win multiple more. There's no doubt about that. It doesn't take a genius. No, I'm not even a Chiefs fan, and I'm telling you right now, Mahomes is going to get multiple more Super Bowls. Like, he will be in the running for the greatest quarterback of all time. And you can say what you want about the system and, and Andy Reid, but how many Super Bowls did Andy Reid have before he became. Not only with the Chiefs, but back when they when they got Mahomes, and you know he obviously went out there what the last week of the season, and what was that twenty seventeen and won. He let a comeback. He let a comeback. Uh, I believe it was. I honestly that seems like forever ago, bro. I, I'm pretty sure Mahomes let a comeback and might have been. I think it was a game winning drive. I'm pretty sure someone can let me know that's a Chiefs fan. But basically, these guys they coexist perfectly, and that's why they've seen so much success. I mean, you can't even replicate what the Chiefs are doing unless you're Tom Brady. I mean. No one's going out there and just year after year is in the AFC Championship game or going to the Super Bowl. It's pretty remarkable. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I made a video right after the game yesterday, and it got copyrighted, unfortunately. But this one, I've got a good feeling about this video. I know Chiefs fans are always showing love. As long as you're making good content and supporting them, they're going to show love, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to continue to make these Chiefs videos, and... I've never actually covered a team like this before. I mean, I, I understand that it's only been you know, five f five weeks. I mean, the Chiefs are four and one. They haven't like really won a playoff game or anything like that. But I haven't covered a team that is like this. I covered the Packers. I covered the Chargers. 
And that's actually it for football. Yeah, that's it for football. So, I mean, the Chargers, are we know they got talent, but, I mean, dude, they they haven't gotten off to the start that they'd like. And they almost, they almost lost. They should have lost to the Browns. Brandon Staley went for it. And if you guys didn't see that, go look at the highlights. Brandon Staley went for it. Uh, it was, a, oh, my God, he almost cost them the game. And then, obviously, the Packers... Uh, Packers don't look like a contender right now. They really don't. The Packers have so many holes. But the thing about the Chiefs that separates them from all these other teams is that they fall down 17-0 and they, they come back and win the game and nobody thought otherwise. Like nobody was sitting up there in my Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, make sure you do that as well. Nobody was saying, we're screwed, like it's over. Like no, like it was like, okay, let's get drives going. And then Chris Jones, right? He gets hit with a roughing the passer call and Chris Jones himself said that this is just getting absurd. And it's costing teams games. And thankfully, that didn't cost the Chiefs the game. And Travis Kelsey himself said that that ridiculous penalty fueled the comeback. It really made us fight for each other. And that was reported by The Athletic. So Patrick Mahomes and these Kansas City Chiefs teams, they've got a lot of talent. They drafted well. They went out there and they, they brought in some, some players like Juju and MVS. What are they getting? Like $7 million guaranteed? I can't remember at the top of my head. But... These two players showed up last night. There's no doubt about it. I mean, MBS goes out there. He catches six uh, six receptions for 90 yards. McCall Hardman, four receptions for 73. Juju, three for 33. And bringing in Odell or just another weapon would be great overall because it's going to help the other receivers. It's going to help the run game. And yes, the Chiefs' run game does need help. I know McKinnon went eight for 53. And Patty, you know, Patrick Mahomes went four for 28. But honestly, the Chiefs, their, their run game has been a little bit up and down. It really depends on the week here. But the Chiefs don't have a consistent run game. And I know a lot of Chiefs fans have been telling me that that is due to the offensive line play. And maybe they're right. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But I'm going off of what I'm seeing. And the Chiefs really don't have a run game. And that's why I contemplated saying go out there and get Christian McCaffrey, why not, right? If, don't let the Bills get him. I mean, I'm not saying the Chiefs need to go out there and get him right now so the Bills don't get him, but at the same time here, they they you know they did use a first-round pick on Clyde Edwards-Alaire, and that hasn't worked out. I mean, I know CEH is finally healthy, and he's made some good plays here, but although I do believe, without a doubt, that the Chiefs are the best team in the AFC, they might be the best team in the NFL. The, the Eagles are 5-0, and so we'll give them that. But, I mean, if, would I bet on the Eagles beating the Chiefs? Hell no. Absolutely not. I would not. I really wouldn't. But the, the Eagles are 5-0, so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But, I mean, the Chiefs, to me at least, are the best team in the NFL. They can blow you out like they did against the Cardinals. They can come back 17-0. They, what was their only loss this game? Oh, yeah, against my Indianapolis Colts. Why did they lose that game? Because everything went wrong, and they still had a chance to win that game. I mean, Chris Jones, literally, Chris Jones won the, won the Chiefs the game, and then he said something, and the official gave him a unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, which I don't know what he said, but it was stupid. I mean, referees are costing teams games, but the Chiefs were literally that close to being 5-0. and So the fact that they could add more playmakers, they need to get a run game going, uh, they got killed on the run, absolutely, just Josh Jacobs destroyed them, I mean... He had under over 150 rushing yards. I'm pretty confident to say that. Uh, I'm trying to pull up the stats here. Josh Jacobs went 21 for 154 on the ground. That is 7.3 yards per carry. Also had a touchdown. And they tried to go for him on the two-point conversion, and they failed. So, uh, yeah, but the Chiefs, the Chiefs are the Chiefs. They've got probably the craziest fans I've ever seen. I've been doing YouTube for, uh, well, it depends. I mean, I've... We'll go with a couple of years, multiple, over two years, two and a half years I've been doing YouTube. Like, I'm talking about, like, legit, consistent YouTube. And I don't think I've ever met a fan base like the Chiefs because although they have an amazing roster and they, they're a winning team, and I know if you're an older Chiefs fan, you're not used to, like, Mahomes and Andy Reid and all that because the Chiefs have had some dark days like, like any other team, I guess. But despite having all this success, if you make videos for their team – they're not going to call you a bandwagon. Like, like honestly, when I started making cheese videos, the reason why I started doing them was because everyone was fading them. And I know if you're reading Chiefs articles, like, no one, they're not going to fade the Chiefs because they're the Chiefs. But a lot of Charger, Broncos, and Raider talks. So a lot of people were saying that the Chiefs were going to fall off. And 
if you're a Chiefs fan, you really can't comprehend that because the Chiefs are good every year. But it's the truth. Like teams were fading your team coming into this season because you lost Reek and the teams around you brought in stars. But you know, star power doesn't exactly translate to winning football games. I mean, how many stars are actually on the Chiefs? Kelsey and Mahomes? Am I, who am I missing? Chris Jones, okay, there, there's Chris Jones absolutely is a star. And that's really, yeah, I'm not saying good players, but just who fans and people would say are stars. And a lot of this has come down to the coaching staff, Andy Reid, of course, Steven Spagnola, uh, the enemy, you've got to give him some credit. I mean, he's doing his thing. I mean, I know Andy Reid's probably the better play caller, but they, they got some good coaches. The GM of the Chiefs, what he's done, drafting wise and he's he made some moves as well i mean look at those young linebackers like that's on him right so the chiefs are just a well-run organization i mean if you were to get into if you were trying to work for an nfl organization like there literally is no better team than the chiefs because they're good they'll definitely accept you in and they just know how to build things the right way and that's why making videos for them has been great but it's your boy swaggy signing out later